Hello, my single solitary viewer. Welcome back to the Pixelmon server. And here, I'm observing something rather rare, and it's a very low-level Squirtle. Is there another one? No. Okay, I've been told the Squirtles spawn rather rarely. Okay, I'm gonna try Jigglypuff. I'm gonna send Jigglypuff after him. I don't know if that's a good mix at all, because, again, I'm not a Pokemon expert. But we're gonna try this. Ah, dang it. Very difficult to, to hunt. Hey, come on, Squirtle. Okay, got him. All right, I'm gonna fight, but sing. So Jigglypuff used Sing, but Squirtle avoided the attack and did the tail whip. And uh, Jigglypuff's defense was decreased. Okay, what can I do? Defense curl? Because I don't want to pound Squirtle. Squirtle is only level 5 here. Jigglypuff is going to demolish him if, he, if, if the pounds happen. Look at how little damage Squirtle did with his tackle there. All right, let's try sing again. And Squirtle has fallen asleep. Okay. I'm gonna try and bag him. With, uh, actually the level ball should maybe work the best here because the level ball, if my Pokemon is higher your level, the level ball is good here. So that might actually be the good time to try the level ball. Now I didn't, I didn't lower Squirtle's health at all, but he's sleeping. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that has to work logically, right? And I captured Squirtle. There you go. There you go. Squirtle's mine, baby. We now need a name for a Squirtle. Oh yeah. I just ended my stream. Yeah. Dutch, in fact, is still streaming. Yep, I'm still streaming. To his dismay. And I stumbled upon a shiny. Level one shiny. I don't know what you do with a level one shiny. You level but, it up. Uh, I, I guess. That's mm -hmm. such a long way to go. But we're going to have to Not fight really. this boy. I sent out Tyrant, and I, I got to go straight to bag. Thankfully, what, I've got nine Ultra do. Balls, so maybe that's oh. going to... Maybe that's going to do. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll come over and get you some more balls. Nine is not enough, you think? Oh, the first one was good enough. I captured Centret, and it was sent to my PC. And Tyrant gained eight experience from not doing a single move. Congratulations. GG. GG. <laughs> well, that so was my first shiny, it turns out. It's a shiny centric. What color is it? Uh, it's like yellow. I've never seen a shiny centric. <laughs> and now you still haven't. I've not even caught a shiny Pokemon yet. It'll I happen in this very stream, Dutch. How do you recognize a shiny? Oh, the, the name, name is, is a different color. color. And he's going to be a uh, different colored from the usual. Oh, uh, okay. uh, well, yeah, that Pokemon. as well. But the, yeah. it's not always obvious, so. No, but especially the, if it's a Pokemon you don't even know to begin with. <laughs> True. The name will be Golden. Um, uh, yeah, there's, it, it, there's little sparkles as well. It's a, it's yeah. a little more sparkly. It's like a, a, a Twilight Vampire, well. you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, sort of. Yeah, sure. Kaysen just joined the game, but uh, do shinies like once you've captured them, do they have better moves or something or what? No, they're just like no, the they're, old folks. They're like, they're like uh, an alternate. Just the skin. collector's item because yeah. there's a fabrication error in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Good day on the Pixelmon server. I am building or trying to finish my own house in Floaroma Town, and it's a big undertaking because I decided. Uh, you know, because I think so much of myself, I decided to make it larger than anyone else's and get, add an entire floor to it. Well, Spiro's uh, looking for a fight, and I'm uh, willing to build, so uh, I'd rather avoid it if I can. So I'd like to complete this house, but I thought some people on the stream, because I've uh, streamed three times on the server so far, just because of how busy I am uh, in the first week of the server. One of the reasons, of course, is uh, it's the holidays, so there's just more time to play. And the other is uh, that I've been building houses for multiple people, and I want them to be able to play and move in sooner than later. 
Um, so now it's the turn to build my own house simply because uh, Mario hasn't really gathered a whole lot of materials uh, for me to build his house with. Even though, technically speaking, Sten gathered so many materials. Actually, I think he's covered. <laughs> I think he's, he's covered uh, several houses with just the... Um, and Dutch uh, waking up and realizing that I am a butt because, yes, I, I went over to his house over there and then I, I dug him in a hole while he was AFK. That's the kind of thing I do. You understand. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be part of the episode, but I guess if you want to capture that slice of life kind of thing that happens on a server when you're stuck with flus is you get uh, you get pranked just a tiny little bit while you're AFK. That's that's what happens. Um, so I've got this tower, I've got a flag on top, and now I'd like to work on settling this, uh, this roof, this roof business. We need to get that done. Now I have two basic choices. What I like to do normally, like it depends on what your build is, uh, but if you're going for realist or not, but as you can see, if I zoom in, I've decided to add a kind of a little bit of a curve to these roofs. These roofs are... I are are curvy. They're not they're not straight lines. And the reason of course is that well first it, it tends to be a little more interesting, I th I think. It gives a little more volume, but also we're in a we're in a little of, of a Pokemon type of place, so it's it's nice to have a little bit of that um I don't know, that fantasy cartoony kind of little feel there. And I think adding just that little curve to the roof will it adds that little spirit. So here's uh, one of the things that uh, was asked in the stream. I was uh, complimented, I suppose, by uh, saying that I'm not a bad builder. Which, uh, I suppose is true, I'm not a bad builder. I'm not the greatest builder in the world. And I say that in the sense that I think everyone is always in a position when they can learn some more. You can always learn more than you know right now. If you think you already know everything, that's when you start getting in trouble. You're always better off having an open mind and being curious three, two, four, and looking for new ways to do things. Okay, so the middle is here. Okay, I could I could do that. I could do that. And I think it's gonna look good. And I'm gonna have to go to uh Beef's Wild Camp. <laughs> Uh, to, to look at how it looks. Oh, there you go. Hey, you know what? I'm trying to tell you a little bit of my building tips, and most of them tend to be depth, volume. Try not to be so straight, but also keep things like, um, symmetry in mind, but also break the symmetry at times. Uh, it's, it, <laughs> there's so many things that you, you want to do. I'm just a little bit, uh humbled because one of the Minecraft builders whom I learned the most from is actually streaming on this server right here and it's it's Arcus and early on in my early 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 Minecraft days I think it was Arcus who actually managed to uh, put things in a way that even I could understand in terms of uh, how to improve your building in Minecraft. And even I got it. And his videos actually, you know, uh, showed me, showed me the way. Okay, so that's how I did it. And I tend to build on the fly. I don't, most of the time I don't really plan ahead. And that's why sometimes there's going to be things that work and things that don't work. If you do, if you plan everything in uh, creative, you're always going to be uh, safely assured that the things don't work. Nobody will ever see. They're going to be safely hidden uh, in your uh, creative world, where 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 no person can lay eyes on it. But if you're the kind of person who dares to build and just build on the fly, like me. You have to be willing to build something in survival and then take it all down if it doesn't work. 
Now the editing while I do this is going to be very choppy because I often stop sometimes even in mid sentence to take a sip of coffee. <laughs> That's what happens when you can play in the morning. Um, so I think at this point, I want to see if this looks, how harmonious does this look? And maybe this is far enough. Yeah, this is, this is far enough. Do, do I need some to create an optical illusion? Make it just a little off center. Like, even if the center is actually here, if I put that there, would it feel more balanced? Some part of it feels more balanced, but uh, you also get, you also get the fact that, oh, no, 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 there's a symmetry that is not working here. And it feels like someone made a mistake. So, I'm not going to go this far. Won't go this far. Oh, no. It's the night. I'm going to ask Dutch if he, if he can sleep. Dutch. Dutch. Okay. Well... That means, if he's not responding, that means he's AFK. Look at this beautiful home. Alright, so, I can't sleep the night away. But at least I can dig a Dutch into a hole. What I'd like to do, I don't know how possible it is, but I'd like to make a waterfall that falls into this pond. And behind the waterfall, have a little cave tunnel and an elevator block, like a secret ent entrance up into uh, the house or close to the house. And that'd be, nip that'd be pretty nifty. Otherwise, I'm going to be making a road here. There's going to be some uh, terraforming, obviously, involved. I'm going to be making a little road and going all the way up, of course. Need to remove this tree. Not quite yet, because I don't want to fill my inventory with oak at the moment. The, the space in there is limited. Mm-hmm. Over here. Maybe it will look better if I did it like this. You just try things as much as you can and find NPCs just walking around on your on your roof. What are you doing here, buddy? How are you even spawning here? Why don't you spawn on other roofs and just mine? Why, 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 I'm gonna bully you. Oh, well, I'm glad you love bugs, Kent. But I, I'm sorry to say, you, you going down, Kent, you, you level, level one noob. My Pidgey 13 is gonna destroy yous. Oh, oh, level two Beedrill, huh? Wow. Okay. If that's how it's gonna be, I'm gonna quick attack him to death. Bam. Oh, Venomoth, huh? Okay, I think uh, I'm gonna try to uh, bring in my level my level one Centret. Go Centret! Oh my goodness, it can't even survive a single attack from a level one. Centret, you're bad. <laughs> my shiny Centret, you are bad. I'm gonna use Tyrant then. Tyrant is gonna bully all these. Uh, it's gonna tackle all of them. Okay, you gotta... You gotta destroy here, Tyrant. Alright. Oh no, there's still one left. Butterfree! I should have taken out the Sentrits uh, for one of his level ones. Bugs are still awesome, says Kent. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
You wouldn't say that if they were uh, infesting your house, Kent. Maybe you'd change your tune. Right, right down here, I've got the decisions, the hard decisions to take. And I think, yeah, this is going to look le the best. It's going to look the least derpy. So one of the things you want to look for when you're building is you want to had uh, you want to have depth and volume. So you want to use, yeah, you do want to use these stairs and the slabs to just create more depth and or more volume to, to add things to your wall so that it's not just one straight line. Usually I like to uh, have the walls themselves be too deep just so I can add more detail. But I, in this town, Floraroma town, the thing is, if you if you make your walls, the deeper you make your walls, the bigger your build generally tends to become. So I wanted houses that wouldn't be overly large, so that they would still have that cottage kind of uh, intimate feel, without being like too large, but you still have uh, you know plenty of room for all your needs, but without being like immense castles. Um, and so that's where that's where the the size of the wall comes from most of the time if your wall is too too thick it's going to influence the rest of the build it's just a rule of thumb it's not necessary in actual law finally the sun rises and i've completed most of the roof actually all of the roof and uh, on this side you can see things are looking fine things are looking pretty good I've encountered a bit of a problem which I've haven't had to deal with very often before actually never that I can remember so if I come over to beef still clearing here and I look at the house there's something odd with the roof I'm talking about the main roof and the curve here the tower makes it look like it gives an optical illusion that the curve has sunk too far down and that the curve is unbalanced it's an illusion it's an optical illusion but it's kind of unsettling and i'd like to try and fix it now i we tried uh, earlier i tried just reshaping replacing the curve somewhere else and that didn't quite work so what i'd like to try is as you can see the roof has a kind of a shape as if um it was a tent and i mean a tent as if uh you know it was made of fabric and gravity is pulling the middle of the tent down so let's add a tent pole to the middle of the roof and let's see if that actually solves the problem so let me travel okay Whew. gotta do some parkour just to get here here we got the middle right here and now we gotta reorganize this right to be like a tent pole it actually has to get the same size as over here Ooh, so there's gonna be some work added here let's just remove all this and work on on the tent pole so the tent pole would be this block here. So we do two blocks and a stairs. Let's try that. Two blocks, stairs, and then one, two. And no, did I mess up? Did I mess up? Just trying to be, try to even things out, trying to smooth things out. And then I can just fill that up right here. Move these. I'm gonna have to probably fix uh, the dark oak place as well. But we're right now. I'm just trying to see if adding a tent pole effect in the middle is actually gonna solve all my problems for me. Because that'd be that'd be really handy if it did. Okay, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. I fell. I have fallen and I can't get up. Actually, I say that, and I'm getting up. Okay, so does that look better? The curve looks a lot less weird. It no longer looks like the tower is actually sinking everything down. 
It's like uh, that tower looked like, uh, you know, you know, if you, you had an old sofa and one person has been sitting at one spot for like 20 years on that one sofa and it all, they all, it pull, there's a big hole, there's a big like uh, a, a butt shaped hole in the sofa where that person has been sitting for like 20 years. Yeah, that's, that's what it initially looked like. And now I think with the tent pole in the middle, things look more stable. So this house needed more support. But with that tent pole, I'm going to need to change, just need to place it correctly. So now, let's see if I can make this uh, echo back. So we, we, got a, we got three. If I go like this, we can always change things. Blocks are, we can be placed and be removed at will. It ain't no thing. And I think if I, again, let's go have, a, maybe, do I actually have to go all the way to beefs? Maybe I can go from here, have a look. I think I can have a look from here and it looks fine. I think this looks much better. This looks much better. Well, now I have to uh, adjust, actually, I have to adjust this, obviously. So one, one, two. There we go. And we fill the rest with slabs. Does that look good? You always gotta try stuff, look at how it looks, see if it works like you intended, and you go for it. Now, I noticed one, one thing. The stairs go farther over here than they do here. So, if I wanted, let's, let's, let's try it. Gotta try it. Try it out, see if it works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kinda like it. What if, here's a suggestion, or here's an idea. It's not necessarily a suggestion. What if I put the tent pole block like that? It's really barely noticeable really, but I think I think it kind of makes sense to the eye. Here I am just uh, looking at everything. I think this looks just fine. I think this looks just fine. So what if I do the same thing on this side? Just add a full block here. And we did say I was going one extra stairs over here. Let's look at this. And that'd be equal to the other side. That does look slightly more harmonious. Let's take the full look. Hey! From over from uh, Beef's Ledge. Now I, I, I really kind of feel bad because he's trying to make a humble abode for a humble Pokemon trainer who's uh, really going to be focusing on Ultra Balls and not going to be messing with any other type of ball, <laughs> just the Ultra, which is all you really need for the most part. I think this is going to be looking good. The flag is looking good as well. It's looking pretty okay. There's one thing I want to change about the flag though. I, I, I think it's... Mm. No, no, it's, it's looking good. It's all looking good. I just hope that he doesn't, uh, you know, isn't too disappointed with the view he's getting. Okay. Um... All looking just fine. Now I need to complete the walls over here. But I think that's going to be for another episode at another time. I've uh, done uh, enough for today. I am spent. I'm spent! Next up, I suppose, I'm going to be starting to put uh, the glass in the windows, amongst other things. As the sun sets over Flow Aroma Town, that's going to be it. For this uh, third episode on the Pixelmon server, uh, do look out for some streams. I I think Pixelmon is really good for uh, streaming. It's a lot of fun to stream, and you never know what's going to happen because you never know when the next Pokemon is going to show up that you need to, uh, you just need to capture. You do What are these? Allow me to electric. I've never seen these before. I have no idea if they're any good. To be honest. Anyway, the sun, the sun is setting 
on the server. And uh, that's the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Um, of course, again, I still need your help naming all the Pokemons. A lot of them I'm, uh, I'm waiting to see as many uh, contender names as I can per Pokemon. Wow, that is that is one big per ugly. It is it is big. It is fat. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I'm looking for a lot of suggestions, and I'm probably gonna do the actual naming probably mostly in streams, unless I get a name that I am so enamored with that I immediately want to name the Pokemon, and I do that in an episode. Still looking for your suggest suggestions. Ideally, they should be puns, but sometimes I suppose there are some situations where uh, a pun might not work, you know? So, uh, ideally a pun, but if a pun is not possible, all suggestions are good. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye! Sponsored by the Flues Crew on Patreon.